Previously on Left Behind. Hey, how you doing? Nice morning, huh? Okay, look, fun's over. You gonna stop or do we need to do this the hard way? Call me Jock. Uh-huh. I have a proposition for you. Not interested. Manu Mazda? Yeah, 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 that's it. He's the bottom of the barrel in the black market. You know nothing you would give us is going to set you free. How can we look to the public? What number, please? Global Community Palace, New Babylon. Can you connect me? How exactly do you benefit the GC? Bounty. Bounty? The palace is paying handsomely for the disloyal. Based on Armageddon, the 11th book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 124 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. I assumed such a job would have cost 20,000 necks a few years ago. And so it is safe to say you brought more. It is true. I have brought 30,000 necks. Mm. Surely that's enough. 50% more than before has to cover inflation and the rush. Well, it is not enough. It's 20,000 short. You want 50,000? Indeed. 30,000 is all I brought and all I am willing to pay. Uh, and is it all on your person? Or did you leave some on your bike? You know better than that, Menu. Who leaves cash in the alley? <laughs> Sahib! Menu. How much is our friend paying you to watch his bike? Twenty-five. And uh, how much does he owe you? Ten. Do you have thirty thousand plus the ten you owe, Sahib? Yes. And beyond that? Spare change for the trip home. Uh, let me see the thirty thousand. It is all here. And the ten you owe, Sahib. And now your spare change. Maybe another fifteen. Oh, we are still twenty thousand apart. I said thirty thousand is all I'm willing to pay. Then we have a problem. You're serious. You won't do it for thirty. I am sorry, my friend. It appears I'll need to take my business elsewhere. Oh no no no! Please, I would not want to pass off what's before me. It will be done then. It is already done, my friend. It's something for nothing. Fifty thousand in change. Minus the cost of the plastic bag. Fifty? Zahiv, your handgun, please. Yes, Mr. Master. Uh, main, main, no. no. It seems, old friend, that you and I are twenty thousand nicks apart. I see only one solution. And that solution is you, Albi. I can get more. Zahib, what is the bounty on unmarked citizens? 20,000 nicks. Yes, it is. Menu. And 30 plus 20 makes 50. Menu. Minus, of course. The cost of the plastic bag. Exactly. Menu. No. Menu. Oh, hi. Didn't know we had somebody in custody. Oh, I'm not really supposed to be in here. Pardon? I just wandered in. I locked myself in here by accident. <laughs> and you had the bad fortune of wearing a jumper today that makes you look just like an inmate, too. How unlucky. Yeah, that's me. Maybe they locked you up for your taste in clothes, huh? Must have. <laughs> well, I'm just getting a bucket over here. Best of luck to you. Thanks. Oh, say, uh, they gave you your phone call, didn't they? Oh, sure. I've been treated like a queen. I called my palace. No, I'm serious. That's the one thing I don't like here. I mean, people get what they deserve, not taking the mark at all. But whatever happened to one phone call? I mean, this is still America, isn't it? Uh, no. Well, it's close enough for me. Hey, um, you want to make a phone call? What? You got to promise not to tell. I'd be in a lot of trouble. What, with your cell phone? Sure, here. But just one. And you gotta make it quick. Then hide it or slide it across the floor like I dropped it or something. I'll come back for it in a while. Are you serious? Sure, what's the harm? 
Go ahead and knock yourself out. Pretty little thing like you. I'll be back. How dumb do they think I am? The thing probably doesn't even work, and if it does, not from here. Huh? Okay. I can't call the safe house, they'll trace it. Let's try this. Crystal, I've got an idea. About what? Something I can do for you. I'm all ears. How about eyes? Eyes? Someone who can see. Don't play with me. Don't you remember, just before you and I spoke, someone opened the door and then shut it again and ran off? You scared the living daylights out of me, so to speak. Well, he's a believer, too, and he can see in New Babylon. Go on. I might be able to talk him into coming back and helping you when everyone else is gone. What's in it for you? There might be things in the files I'd like to know. More than you could imagine. Well, there you go. He helps you, and you give him access to things that might help me. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm getting another call. Uh, I better take this. If I can set it up, I'll have the guy call you. All right. Steel here. Daddy, it's me. Chloe. Please, just, just listen. You still have the record feature on your phone? Yeah. Turn but... it on right now. <laughs> Do it. Did you? Yes, is it but on? what... I know this call is being traced, and your phone is going to be useless after this, but I couldn't call anyone else. I'm in the San Diego GC jail, and they're trying to bargain with me to get to the others. What? Tell Buck and Kenny I love them with all of my heart, and if I don't see them again before heaven, I'll be waiting for them there. <laughs> Dad, this was all my fault, but I was jogging within 30 miles of our place, and listen, I just want to tell you, I'm all right for now. I've just been sitting here reminiscing about that wonderful trip you and Mom and I took to Colorado when I was five or six. Do you remember? Vaguely. Chloe, listen, I... Dad, I don't care, Sam, it's important to me that you remember that trip. Honey, that had to be more than 20 years ago. It I can't... was, but it was so special, and I wish everybody could go there again. If I had one dream, it's that we could all go there right now as soon as possible. Chloe, Dad, I... you know they're listening. Just please give my love to everybody and tell them to pray. I'll be strong to the end. I won't give anything away. Nothing. Listen, what... Dad, think about the Colorado trip so I know we'll both be thinking of the same thing at the same time. I love you, Dad. Don't ever forget that. I love you too, honey. Bye, Daddy. I see no reason to doubt the report Ray got from the palace. What we don't know is where she was when the GC got her. That means that we need to work on getting out of here. You're supposed to be the combat guy, George, and all you want to talk about is packing. <laughs> I just want you to know, Buck, I'm not going to hold you responsible for anything you say to me until Chloe's back safe and sound. Then I'm going to tell her how you were mean to me the whole time uh, she was gone. I would love to think you're going to have that chance. <laughs> the best thing we have going for us is that as soon as they determine who she is, she's more valuable to them alive. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hey. You didn't nap. Sleepy bud? I want mommy. Oh. She'll be back later, I promise. How about you just lay down and close your eyes, okay? <laughs> I want mommy. This is the part I'm gonna hate. Don't you dare give up, Buck. None of us are. You can't either. Hey, here's your phone. Oops, sorry. That was very thoughtful of you to let me use it. Maybe next you could smuggle me in a cake with a file in it. We got what we need. Looks like Daddy's just off the East Coast. Gotta think he's due to refuel by now, so we should be able to alert the most likely airports. Uh, do yourself a favor. Work with Jock. He's a fair guy. Right. No, he really is. Well, then, by all means, friend. Tell Jock I'm ready to wheel and deal. I'll give him everything he wants now that I know that he's fair. Be as much of a smart aleck as you want, kid. See where it gets you. Oh, by the way, Sanchez has your energy bar. Should I tell her you're hungry? Nah, I had a big breakfast. Couldn't eat another bite right now. Maybe some television, then. Oh, spare me. I've heard enough propaganda to last a lifetime. Actually, it's uh, time for the news. You'll want to hear it. Oh, yeah, the eminently objective Security global news network. Tuhal Akbar. Hey! Hey, okay, all right! Following months of That's careful planning loud and enough. cooperation between the various law enforcement Turn branches down, of the global please. community, Come on. we're yeah, happy to report that a combined TV's task force of crack agents you got the has torture succeeded thing in down, apprehending don't you? one of the top echelon Judahite terrorists. She is 26-year-old Chloe Steele Williams, considered a member of the core leadership of the Judahite terrorist group. 
Director Akbar went on to say that the arrest was made just before dawn today in San Diego after months of planning. The suspect was disarmed and arrested without incident. Where do they get this stuff? Joining us now by satellite from San Diego is Colonel Jonathan Jock Ashmore. Jock, Colonel my Ashmore, old pal. How important would you say this arrest is? It's almost inestimable. And it's rather gratifying to see months of hard work on this case already being beneficial. In what ways are you seeing this benefit? Well, of course I'm not at liberty to disclose much at this point. But I can tell you that she did give up the whereabouts of a low-level Middle Eastern black marketeer named Al Basra. I'll be? The reason we can report this is that the man shot himself to death rather than be arrested. I never we said are about to show a photo that has been forwarded to I'll be. As you can see, Jock. the extensive head wound could Jock. be nothing other than fatal. I might also I need to add that while Mrs. Williams has been difficult to apprehend, is that true? in the end she proved to follow the typical true. terrorist is pattern, dead? The bargaining for self-preservation. Elby, not dead. Now, when oh, we informed God, her of the overwhelming no. charges and evidence against her, Welcome to your new home. Uh, thanks. Uh, lots of people. A million or so. This is cool. I go from no believers around me to this. Your very own prologue to heaven. <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at it. I'll leave word at the computer center to let us know when they learn anything about Chloe, but I'd rather you not see that place until the end of the tour, okay? That's where the big welcome to Petra party is set up, right? Oh, you ruined the surprise. <laughs> Oops. Abdullah got someone to take your things to your new quarters, which are not far from his. He will take you there so you can get settled. In about half an hour, I will come by to give you your first day's tour. Sounds like a plan. There's Mr. Smith now. Okay. Bye. So, are you ready to see your room at the Hilton? Come on, I can introduce you to your neighbors. Mr. Smith, I wonder what the chances are of meeting the two leaders. They request that you join them over Mana in the morning. Good. Uh, yes. Thank you. I have something I must consult with Dr. Benjuda about. Ah, I believe Naomi's father would like to meet you too. Okay, I, I look forward to meeting him as well. She's quite something, isn't she? Who? Naomi? Ah, uh, yes, Naomi. Yeah, Naomi is... something. So what's up with the dwellings? Are these the prefabs from Lionel Whalum? That is correct. And you have the privilege of living in one. Cool by me. Your place, right here, is not much different in size from what you had at the palace. Of course, it is much plainer and simpler. But the best part... What's that? It's not in the palace. <laughs> I'll leave you to unpack. Mr. Smith, quick question. Please. I'm getting kind of hungry, so I was wondering... The manna. Does everyone like it? Actually, yes, they do. Imagine being fed by the king. <laughs> yes, it is just sustenance. And yes, it appears to be merely bread. But it comes from the kitchens of heaven. How can it be anything but glorious? We are due a portion just before sundown, so you will know very soon whether you like it or not. Though, I am confident you will. Okay. Cool. Come in. It's open. Naomi, come in. Come in. I'm sorry, I must not. In my culture, it isn't proper. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. Come, let me show you Petra. All right, tour guide. I want my five nicks worth. Well, then let's begin. As you can see, the city is so spread out that it would take days to see it all. We'll get ATVs near the tech center, then go to the treasury first, then to a few of the nearby tombs. There are many. Wow, you've got this whole tour thing figured out. But then it's to the high places, where the missile hit and the spring still bubbles, providing daily water for more than a million people. If we time it right, it should then be close to sundown, and we can enjoy our manna with water directly from the source. It's right up there. I hope you're thirsty after that climb. Always. What is it, Cheng? You've been looking behind you all afternoon. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to get used to not worrying about who's watching me. I cannot imagine what you went through. Come this way. Are you willing to drink from my hands? Well, I don't know. 
we Chinese wouldn't do it that way, but if you Hebrew type say it's okay. <laughs> you will learn not to make fun of such an important topic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Ready for a drink? Absolutely. Hurry, my hands are not watertight, you know. More. All right, my turn. <laughs> okay. You're going to splash me. No, Naomi, I promise I won't. Okay, hold still. Enough? <sighs> yes, delicious as always. Man, that is good water. Chang, look! Here it comes! Is that snow? <gasps> Looks like it, doesn't it? It's so quiet. Receive your daily bread from the God of Heaven. Incredible. This is so cool. <laughs> well, come on. Try some. Okay. Uh, do you ask God to bless food that he has just personally delivered? <laughs> Would you like me to? I guess. <sighs> to the great God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we offer our humble thanks for everything you provide. Thank you for safety for our mission today, and for allowing us to bring Cheng here. May he find refreshing peace and rest in you. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless our nourishment, this gift you have given. Amen. Amen. Don't wait for me. Go ahead. Okay, I just might. I never grow tired of this. So, uh, what does it taste like? It would seem there's a pretty easy way to answer that question. Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Well? Oh. Oh. That's all you can say? Oh. Well, I'm guessing you approve. It tastes like honey, kind of sweet. Yes. Almost like cookies, those wafer things, and they're so filling. <laughs> Imagine, everything we need for 24 hours comes in just three helpings of this. That's incredible. Exodus 16.31 And the house of Israel called its name manna, and it was like white coriander seed, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. You just ate food right out of the Bible. That is so cool. Okay, let's not sweat the fuel situation. I got a friend in the Florida Panhandle, Jacksonville, co-op guy. We can refuel there and avoid any activity along the East Coast. Great. You copied every last word of the conversation? We gotta dump the phone so we can't hold on to the recording. Clearly the clue's in that Colorado business. All right, what do you remember about the trip? Oh, that was a long time ago, at least 20 years. One of those summer things you do when the kids are little. Raimi wasn't even born yet, it was just the three of us. Oh, okay. Um, after she tells you what to say to Buck and Kenny, she says something about this being her fault, and then the jogging stuff. You buying that? Being 30 miles from home? Nah, trying to mislead the GC, no doubt. There's no way they're going to fall for it. All right, she promised not to give anything up. You buying that? 100%. Yeah, me too. Uh, then she says, uh, the trip was so special, I wish everybody could go there again. Obviously suggesting a destination for the crew at the safe house. Right. So, to cover all the bases, we need to rule out that she wants everybody in San Diego to go someplace in Colorado. Yeah, it can't be too simple. She says herself she knows that GC is listening in. Mm -hmm. We flew there. Uh company pass, of course. Says her dream is that we could all go there right now as soon as possible. That's telling me she thinks San Diego is compromised and we need to get that moved now. Yeah, I had the same thought. So, what, you have the whole Old Testament memorized? <laughs> Hardly. But you know, for all of my childhood, I didn't call it the Old Testament. It was the Bible. I try to memorize scripture, too. What are you memorizing? New Testament. John, I'm up to chapter 3. You know what's cool? Now, we might be memorizing stuff that's going to happen, or just did, like manna. Let me show you something. You see my garment? It's kind of like a robe, but more like a dress. It's got that whole Bible time look. And I mean that in a good way. <laughs> it is the only thing I have ever worn here. I had it on when we arrived. It looks brand new. I washed it out every night. And it's new every morning, like the Lord's compassion. Another memorized passage? My father showed me that one right after we survived the bombs. You were here for that? We were among the first. 
That must have been crazy. Sometimes I cannot imagine it really happened. Uh, all right, scholar lady, what's the passage? Uh, Lamentations, three twenty-two to twenty-four. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in Him. Wow, you are good. Listen, I, I promised my father we would at least be back at the tech center by sundown. So when do I get to hear the rest of your story? Uh, how about my story for your story? Maybe after breakfast tomorrow? It's a deal. Okay, let's dissect this thing. Where exactly did you go in Colorado? Nothing stands out. Standard out-of-town affair. All right, what cities were you in? Uh, just the Springs and Denver. Oh, and we, we stayed in this little place called Green Mountain Falls for a few days. They had horses there. Okay, let's either confirm or eliminate the obvious. The obvious? You do the Cog Railway thing? Pikes Peak, sure. Yeah, that cowboy place, the ranch. Flying W, of course. All right, the place with all those big rock formations. Yeah, yeah, Garden of the Gods. Air Force Academy. Drove by it. We didn't have time. We were going to a concert. Where was the concert? Outside Denver, and the theater was outdoors. Seemed like we ah, climbed forever. I had to carry Chloe. I was out of breath at that altitude. Uh-huh. Red Rocks? Yeah, that's it. Uh, some country music deal. Chloe loved it. You with me here yet, right? Red Rocks. Red Rocks. <laughs> You think it's that simple? So, what do you think? It's what I pictured, though you have to admit it's strange seeing that massive network of computers in a building cut from rock. And I love the fires. High tech, right next to cave tech. Can you find your way to your hut? I I'd rather not. I, I think I need a guide just one more time, being my first night and all. Uh, I can find you one. Hold on. Naomi! I'm kidding. Of course I can find it. I'd just rather you walked me there. In my culture, no, it... I Inappropriate, of course. How about my walking you home? That would be acceptable, and even chivalrous. <laughs> I get to be chivalrous. This is a day of firsts. My father is waiting for me, and it will be dark by the time I arrive. He will appreciate that I had an escort. Anything I should know before I meet him? Just that he is a man with very little sense of humor. Really? This way. Good evening, Father. This is the young man I told you about. I'm Cheng Wong. Eleazar Tiberius. Perhaps you know my lake. Uh, Tiberius is a... Don't worry, you'll get that later tonight. It may even be funny. I have heard so much about you, young man. I am grateful to you for looking after my daughter, and I look forward with great anticipation to getting to know you better. Thank you, sir. Your place is that way. You can see Abdullah in front of his fire. Yes, thank you. And thanks for the tour. I'll see you in the morning. Did you get to see everything, my friend? Oh, yes. It's wonderful. I feel so free, so happy. <laughs> it's quite a different world than the one you knew in New Babylon. No global community guards, no Nikolai... No darkness, no people screaming in pain. Not sure about the neighbors yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear that Jordanian just down from you snores like a chainsaw. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. <laughs> Welcome to Petra, my young friend. Sleep well. Thanks. Good night. <sighs> wow. Thank you, God. Thank you. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is based in part on the book Armageddon by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Adapted for radio by Chris Fabry. Sound design by Glenn West. Music by Steve Wick. Directed and produced by Todd Bustide. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening.